And at the very end, it was it was very very good fun. And Bill was amazing because he, he's such a bright guy. And then a beautiful woman stood up in sunglasses and said, "You know, do you still?" After I've been serious about everything and funny, but like you know, measured. So this woman stood up and said, "And do you still have those groupies backstage?" And I thought, what sort of stupid question is that? I mean, how dare this woman? And then she took her glasses off, and it was the famous Miss Pamela. From, oh, from, no way. From the GTOs, yeah, who used to um, be one of Jimmy's companions. Uh, oh, she wrote companions. a big book about it, too. Yeah. Yeah, she certainly did. So good, let me cross that, let me cross that question off the list then. Well, I just had to... P- I just did another forward for it because he's hiking it out again. But, I mean, Pamela was... um, Frank Zappa had a lot of side projects going in the late 60s, mid to late 60s. And the GTOs, the Girls Together Outrageous, were... When I first got to, to America, I was just 20 years old and I was suddenly, you know, I was looking at all this American stuff including these girls who were absolutely outrageous. Um, they did make records too, but the society was amazing. And then to see her stand up at the end of all that sort of um, businessy type of back slapping, there's Robert, you know, with Mavis Staples or whatever. It's some great moment for me. And then there's Pamela looking like, uh, you know, a little angel asking me a really dumb cluck <laughs> question. And I thought, oh, that's cute. You know, <clears throat> so, I mean, these are great times for me. You know, I'm seeing a lot of friends again that I, I used to know. Somehow, um, even my pals who probably didn't look after themselves so well, uh, quite a lot of them now, are coming back round with a great mm-hmm. sense of humour and, uh, and a great sort of uh, what they can remember of what used to go on. You know, it helps me remember. You know? Right, right, right. So I'm sure you got a lot of those cra- crazy questions there. And this album, a bunch of new material, were going back to the album mm. before this was a bunch of covers. And um, I want to know what Bob Dylan thought of um, your cover as, of one of his songs. Oh, Did you? Oh, cubby, cubby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he never said a word. He never said a word at all. Mm. But so generally, he doesn't. It, that's I've only true. ever had one conversation with him years ago in, po- in Portugal. Um, and we were playing at a, a soccer stadium with like 60,000 people or whatever. And backstage, it was just an open arena with some kind of flaps of material that looked like sails of ships. And each of us had a different flap area. And as I went past Bob's flap, he was hopping up and down, putting a sock on. So he was like on one foot hopping with his sock coming on his foot. And I thought, if ever you're going to strike up a conversation with somebody who doesn't want to talk to now's anybody, the time. now's the time. And we talked for about an hour or so, and we had a great conversation about, again, about American music, you know. And, um, and then I never saw him again. Well, no, but beautiful. beautiful okay, great. back to the Mighty Ray Ranger. Okay. As truth collides with propaganda, just another victim on the run... The world outside all fluff and candor seeks to justify the damage done. What were you thinking when you wrote that? I was thinking about how um, beautiful our world is and how clever we all are and how there are people who are way more. There are doctors and there are scientists and there are people doing great good. There are, and yet the most simplistic problems we create, and it's such a drag, you know, to have to keep on, especially in Europe, where the, the news seems to be much more, um, uh, uh, if you like, evident and in your face more than it is over here. It just seems a shame that, that, this is, that the most obvious thing to do is to try and spread a bit of joy and peace, you know. And we just have so many uh, suspicions and fears and goodness knows what. It's just, uh, it's just terrible to think that that's underlying all the good that we can all do. Uh, I want to take a listen to that song with your band, Strange Sensation. Um, the first time you've done an in-studio radio thing since 1969. Uh-huh. And what made you decide to come here to Dave FM today? Because I'm a whore. Ah! <laughs> okay. I'll do, I'll do anything. Just get it on there, honey, because it's so good that it ought to be okay it, yeah all right does that answer your question you know what i'm satisfied with that um uh, what is the most underrated led zeppelin song you think um underrated yes one that you think should have been more popular oh i don't know how the popularity works i know that there are <clears throat> there are big songs sure 
which radio tend to cling onto because they mm-hmm. work, work, work. But uh, um, I don't know. I mean, I love the Rover. I think yeah. that's a great track. And uh, I, I like the middle bit of Down by the Seaside because it's only one of two tracks where I'm playing guitar. And right. You can just about hear me, my little Martin acoustic in the background. But I like I like that. I thought it was cute, and it was from a particularly prolific time that Jimmy and I shared. And Tori Amos did a cover of that too. She did with me. Yeah. On um, yeah, I read a review that said Plant and Amos have made a record together, which sounds like they mailed in their <laughs> renditions and then glued the two performances together. When in fact she was about as far away as I am from you, two really? yards, with a leg wrapped round the leg of the piano, perspiring and looking into what I thought were my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but they may have been a takeout menu for uh, Bob's Big Boy. I don't know. <laughs> Well, another thing I loved, I read that you said, is that you love Dolly Parton's co- cover of Stairway to Heaven. Mm. That she did a nice bluegrass version of I that. I think she's a, you know, she's a great singer. I think she's a great, genuine, good person. And uh, I think it's way better than Tiny Tim's. <laughs> I would agree with that. Or even Little Jew. What's his name? Little somebody in the Goose... Roger and the Goosebumps. <laughs> okay, did a cover of that, too. Yeah, Gilligan's Island, it's called. Well, Robert Plant, I cannot even tell you how exciting it is for all of us here to meet you, number one, to see you tonight at Chastain Park with Strange Sensation. Thank you. Uh, the song we were talking about from Mighty Rearranger, Another Tribe, mm-hmm. we're going to take a listen to the in-studio version of that live with Robert Plant on Dave FM. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here today. And I hope I'll always be as much of a whore as I can. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs>